are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful and compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So, they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the- I'm going with you! No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green! Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. 
every day of my life. I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Killing without guilt produces more carnage. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Unlock the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl! I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there.
just now. Careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. around there. Use a mind detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans.
This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight!
boss, is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your... You see, I told you so, but I will kill him. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up in here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. This is Nastasha Romaninko. A pleasure to work with you, Salad Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the Colonel mentioned. That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the Nuclear Emergency Search Team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon. The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen. And neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake.
Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile.
goes. Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Next. Snake. Hey, you're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> All right then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again.
Zanzibar. Is it over? Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? 
Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped, walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but... Are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. 
If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing? No. Oh. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is, over there. Oh no, damn, they spotted me. Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? 
There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later.